Hello, this is 8 Rach, and welcome to another video. And this is five games that I can't put down. And I was nominated by Generation Pixel. I'll put a link to his channel. If you're not subscribed to it, why not? Yeah, go and have a look at some really good stuff there. And like I said, I'll put a link in the description. So, five games I can't put down. First one is Final Fantasy X. Now, I do like Final Fantasy games. I, I do enjoy them. But like a lot of PlayStation games, they're an absolute investment of time, aren't they? So, I've been plugging away at this for hours. Now, I'll be honest, I'm playing this as a bit of a means to an end. And I'll tell you why. Um, I started off first Final Fantasy game I played is Final Fantasy VIII. I used to work in Peacocks and there were these two lads that they were mad on Final Fantasy. They had the strategy guides and everything. I used to sit there on my break with them like that. Not knowing what the hell they were talking about. And it was about that time I got um, a PlayStation. There used to be like a little independent game shop uh, just outside the Daniel Centre. It's like a shopping centre. So I picked up Final Fantasy, I thought, well, go and see what the fuss is about. And I really got into it. I mean, like I said, it is an investment of time. It's not a, a game you can just pick up. You don't get very far in half an hour, do you? And, uh, yeah, got really into it. Played it, played it, played it. And then I got stuck on a particular battle. And I just couldn't get past it. And so it kind of got put to the side while I played other games that I'd bought. Eventually, I sold a load of my PS1 and 2 games. I just didn't have the room. I was, you know, sharing a flat with my sister, so I just didn't have the room. But recently, I've started buying back old favourites. And I also had Final Fantasy X at the time, and this is one that I'd bought back again recently. I'll show you it again. And I picked this up before Final Fantasy VIII, so I'm enjoying this game. I do enjoy it, but I don't think the characters kind of grab me as much as Final Fantasy VIII, to be honest. Um, and I don't think the dialogue in the cutscenes is as good. It's it's very bland at times. And even the side game, um, it's what's it called in this, Blitzball. I can't be bothered. I just want to get through the game and that's it. Whereas the other one, uh, Final Fantasy VIII, had the card game, Triple Triad. Oh, I bloody loved playing that. But yeah, Final Fantasy X, I'm enjoying it, but I'm kind of wanting to finish this before I start on Final Fantasy VIII. So I am working my way through it. I've never finished a Final Fantasy game. So this is going to be the one that I finish first. I am near the end, I think. So that's my first game that I'm kind of working on at the moment. Second one, I am trying to cover a variety of systems here so the second game is doom on the ps1 and i first played this game actually on the atari jaguar um and i never had one but my brother's friend had one and he'd gone to university i think so while he was away for those few weeks he said to my brother you can borrow my jaguar and he had doom um alien versus predator Cannon fodder, and I, I think Lemmings was the other one, I'm not sure. They were all good games, but Doom and Alien vs Predator were the ones I played most. Bloody loved them, so I was absolutely delighted when Doom, when I discovered it was on the PlayStation. Um, and it's kind of not my normal type of game, you know, just going and blast the bollocks of everything, it's... But I kind of like it for that. You could just go in for a five minute blast, just blow things to bits and that's it. Do you know what I mean? You just feel better after it. But it's also a kind of, it's got that horror element to it as well where you walk into a room and it's got like strobe lights or it's dark and you know very well that there's something in the room and once you walk around a corner or something, it's going to come at you. And when you go outside of the buildings, the backgrounds are just very desolate and depressing. And 
you can hear like the sort of screams in the, in the distance and the music adds to the atmosphere as well i do think it's a very atmospheric game and like i said it's one you can pick up five ten minutes while your tea's cooking have a blast or like i often do spend hours playing it and sorry if you can hear me, sh me cat shouting um hang on myrtle um lost my thread now and do you know i realized i never finished a doom game either until about six months ago i just played it solid and I finished it and I thought, you know what, I've never actually finished a Doom game. Because I keep dipping in and out of different ones. I've got Doom 2 and Final Doom on a snide disc because I got my PlayStation chipped by my dad's mate. So you could buy £10 games for them. But anyway. <clears throat> um, and even when I got rid of all those games, you know, I said I had a clear out. I kept hold of this one. I could not bear to part with it. Even though you could pick them up a lot cheaper than... Final Fantasy, I just couldn't bear to get rid of my Doom ones. There were like maybe half a dozen that I kept. That was one of them. And that's a game that I regularly dip in and out of. I, I do love it. So next game. God, I really am covering all systems here. Amiga Ace for the VIC-20. I don't have the box for this. I just bought the cartridge off eBay. Um, I had that back in the day. Um... I'm pretty sure we had it boxed as well. I'm pretty sure all our cartridges were boxed. And I never really got on with it as a kid because it, it was joystick only. And I, I'm not brilliant with a joystick, I have to be honest. I much prefer a keyboard. Um, and I was very young. We probably we got the Amstrad when I was about four or five. So VIC-20 kind of got parked a little bit after that. So, you know, I was very young to be playing that, but my brother played it a lot, and I used to enjoy watching him play on the computer. So, to be honest, when I bought this, it was mainly for nostalgia reasons. But when I played it, I was surprised at how much I actually did enjoy it. And it's just a simple shooter. You just go around the screen, shooting at enemies, hope that they don't shoot you, clear the screen onto the next stage. Just simple black and white graphics it's just nicely done though and it is one of them it's just i'll oh, just have one more go oh god i nearly did it then i'll do it the next time one more go one more go and it's one of the few games that i'm better at now than when i was a kid there's not many of them so that's game number three now of course wouldn't be me without amstrad games so that's game number four Relentless by Cytronic Software. This is, you probably know, a fairly recent one, 2013. And this is a, like a scrolling space shooter. And I first saw it on Retrobait's channel. And I thought, God, that looks really good, that. And he said, oh, it is a good game. You should give it a go. So I did. Oh, God, I was addicted. Straight away, I was addicted. And it's, it's now in my top three games, I think, of them. Um, it was just, I couldn't put it down. And to be honest, I never get very far in it. I've only got to level three, and I didn't get very far in level three. But it's just, again, it's one of them you can just go in and have a ten-minute blast, or, like me, play it for hours. And it's kind of just mindless shooting. You don't have to think too hard about what you're doing. You know, because sometimes you just want to go in and shoot things. Do you know what I mean? You don't. You come in from work. You don't want. I have to concentrate. It's probably why I've never got further than level three. But it's just a really enjoyable game. But it's quite simple. The graphics are very. They look sort of neon, very Tron-like. There's no music, not much in the way of sound effects. But not like me. But I didn't even notice there was no music. To be honest, I thought, God. That, I've enjoyed it so much, I've not noticed the lack of sound, really. Um, it's a really good game. I'd, I'd recommend you try it. And I'm glad I got hold of the physical copy because they sold out for a long time. So I was pure buzzing to get a copy of it. So, yeah, give it a go, Relentless by Cytronic. <clears throat> right, the last game is... 
this was a favourite of mine back in the day and it has stayed a favourite, it's never moved out of favour and you might have heard me talk about it before. Feud, just try and get it into focus with no glare. So this came out on all the major 8-bit systems, um, I think it might have come out on the MSX. It was certainly on the Spectrum, Commodore 64 and Amstrad. I'm almost certain it came out on the MSX. Um, so basically you play the part of a wizard. You and your brother have had a falling out, so you have to be the first to kill the other one. I've, nev I've never finished this game, but... So you have to basically go around, collect herbs, take them back to your cauldron and mix the spells and use the spells either against your brother or to protect yourself. And... Um, it's just brilliant. I absolutely loved that game. And it wasn't a Spectrum part. We had a game in our own right. Let's try and get it in focus. Is it going to focus? No. And the music is absolutely brilliant. I used to just spend ages listening to the music before playing the game. <coughs> but the, actually the music's in game as well. But um, yeah, it's one of them. I'd load it up just to listen to the tune. Um, like I said, it came out on all the systems. I've got the Spectrum version as well. And the Spectrum version's... Sorry about the glare. Spectrum version's good as well. But I don't think I'm being purely biased in saying that the Amstrad version is better. The Spectrum's got no music in-game. Um, I don't think it's as difficult as the Amstrad one. Um, off the top of my head, I'm not entirely sure, but it is, on either system, it's a really good game. If you've not played it, I would recommend give it a go. It, it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea. I loved witches and wizards, and I thought I was going to grow up to be some kind of spellcaster as a kid, but it's not really worked out. Um, but yeah, those are my top five games that I can't put down and I'd be interested in hearing what yours were um I was gonna tag people but I, I, I just don't know who to tag who'd be interested in doing it but whoever just I'd love to see what games you've been playing and which ones are your favorites throughout the years or new favorites even so thank you Generation Pixel for tagging me in that um like i said check out his channel it's a brilliant channel i'll put a link to it and thank you everyone for watching take care of yourselves ciao now